If the Earth suddenly collapsed on itself and became a black hole, it would look like this. Yes, I could carry the Earth around in my pocket. How do I know that? The event horizon of a black hole is the spherical boundary under which no information, matter or radiation can escape the gravitational pull. Let's position ourselves exactly on that surface. Is there anything that has enough speed to escape from that location? Yes. In an ideal case, a particle of light, a photon, can escape. It is not necessarily out of the woods because it is at the edge of being captured. But if it takes the right narrow path, it can escape. That means that the escape velocity at the level of the event horizon of a black hole is the speed of light. We can use this idea to determine the size of the black hole. In the formula for escape velocity, let's plug in the speed of light. We replace v by c. Now let's rearrange this equation so that the radius of the black hole's event horizon becomes the subject. We can play with numbers now. Let's plug in the mass of the Earth in that formula. What we get is the radius that the Earth would have if it were a black hole. 9 mm. That's the radius of a marble. Like I said in the intro, you could carry the Earth around in your pocket. Although you'd probably feel a little uncomfortable doing so. Do not feel anxious. The Earth will not collapse into a black hole anytime soon. Actually, it's impossible because the repulsive electrostatic forces between particles of matter are way larger than the attractive gravitational force. For the gravitational force to win, the mass of the object needs to be at least 1.4 times the mass of our Sun. So things being as they are, even something as big as the Sun cannot collapse naturally into a black hole. Still, I find it fun to calculate. You can try with other objects like Jupiter or the Sun or your cat. Just plug in the mass of the object in the formula. Let's finish with a little quiz. What if it did happen? The Earth, in an instant, turns into a tiny black hole. What would happen to the Moon? Would anything change regarding its motion? Let me know what you think in the comments. While I was preparing the script of this video, I realized something. The assumption used in all textbooks that the speed of light is the escape velocity of a black hole is actually not entirely correct. At the level of the event horizon, space-time is so warped on itself that time is frozen for the photon. So even if it has an ideal path, it remains stuck in the black hole's gravitational field forever. It cannot escape. The reasoning twist that made me accept this assumption was to consider the effect of Hawking's radiation that results in a very slow evaporation of the black hole. As the horizon shrinks in radius, the distance of the photon from the horizon increases progressively. So, after eons, the photon can escape. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Ciao.